How bad is my hair? Is it horrible? This will make it better. Ready? On the next episode of What Broke Today? Chief Engineer's Log is What Broke Today. You live on a boat, things break. Are you cutting off my head? It looks like you're cutting off my head. No, okay. Is um, the water maker. And I haven't done a video about the water maker yet. We've used it and made probably 150, 200 gallons so far, which is pretty good considering it makes five gallons of water an hour, which is just a trickle for all you land lovers. But for all of us that live out here in the middle of this wonderful saltwater world, five gallons an hour can make all the difference in the world. So we were making a little power yesterday and um, the water maker goes like, how's it go? And then it made a what noise, hon? You guys probably want me to do that again, right? Stop, stop, stop. And everybody's screaming stop, but Nobody's moving towards stopping it? Nobody's moving towards stopping it. It's like, stop! Freeze. It wasn't hammer time. Is he still cutting off my head? Yeah. Yes. Told you you were cutting off my head. I think he's trying to cut off the headlamp, actually. Okay, anyway. So, what happened was, and a, a water maker is a reverse osmosis system. There's people that are way smarter than I, than I am that can explain this better. And Tracy's agreeing that she doesn't have to always agree. She can sometimes build, words. build, burn, build, sweetie. Build, burn, build. Oh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. Not burn, burn, burn. <laughs> build, burn, build. So it sucks in fresh water from all of this. But fresh water is not fresh water. It's salty. And it's got all kinds of other things in it. Calcium mm, and nutrients. salt. Nutrients. And plankton and everything. So sorry. Runs it through a 20 micron standard kind of house water filter and then we go down through a five i think i'm going to change it a little bit eventually so we go from a 20 to a five then we go into our membrane and our membrane is driven by a little electric water pump or a little uh, uh, electric geared pump on a geared belt that compresses the water up to six to seven thousand psi pushes it through a membrane that squeezes all the salt and the other elements and minerals out and allows fresh water to pass through. Now you're drinking water, the World Health Organization says anything under a thousand is safe, uh, FDA says 500 is about norm, like Gwinnett County is even only like 400, they can spike to 500. With the total dissolved solids of what's in there, we're yeah, making. Yeah, their total dissolved solids is rust out of the pipes. Yeah, a lot of their yeah, it's rust, and they're adding fluoride, and we're not doing any of that. So we've got pretty good tasting water. Um, and what happened yesterday is this is a geared, um, flexible rubber belt. It's made by Gates, which is pretty cool because Gates has been in belts for a long time, and the belt just got old, and some of the gears came off. See that? Mm -hmm. So, in our spares. Hopefully the other ones aren't as old as that one. Yeah, they seem more pliable. And I've got a part number I can order more from. I'm just gonna slip this over and we'll be good to go. And we'll be making water again. Now, the first time I got it going, I kind of felt like the, uh, are you still filming? You keep, you're not filming. You are filming. You are filming, okay. I felt like the Russian off of uh, the movie Martian? Armageddon. Oh, Russian off Armageddon. Armageddon where he's like, on the Soviet space station, this is how we fix things. I don't have to quote me at, at originally, but we'll be up and going in no time making more fresh water. As of note, we have been untethered from the world since January 22nd. We've been making all of our own water, our own power. It's pretty cool. Think out of it as camping, but being self-sufficient. And we're, we're learning a lot about our balance and our balance as a family and what we run and maybe things that we'd like to tweak when we bounce back through the US. Um, maybe adding a little more solar or maybe upgrading one of our alternators to be a big honking mama jamma. And um, we'll see, but the longer we live on, on the hook out here, we've only got 
one neighbor within a, a mile. We've got two other, uh, three other neighbors over about three or four miles away. And he's a local OG, so. And this guy's a local OG. He when comes. When he moves, in. we move with him. <laughs> we got left behind. We got yesterday. left behind yesterday, and we learned a lesson. <laughs> anyway, I'm back to fix the water, the uh, water maker. Water maker. Uh, we might do a little clip in just a minute. Coming back at you. Okay. So water maker's up in here. There's a pump underneath. The pre-filters are under the floor, it comes up. The high pressure pump is here, and then this is the membrane that does the magic. Um, and then our pressure gauge for that. I was able to reach in here and slip on this belt. It only took about 30 seconds. I need people, somebody on the other side to turn on the water maker and let's test this puppy. Okay. Yeah. Turn on the pump, then wait five seconds and then turn on the other yeah. one. Waiting for my helpers. Ready? Yes. Pump first. Pump first. And then wait. Okay. We're making water, guys. I know it doesn't sound dramatic or anything. 